Welcome to Little Data Courses. This video is going to be an intro video for the Path Exploration Report in Google Analytics 4. One thing you'll notice is that this is similar but more robust than the Path Analysis Report in Universal Analytics. This will help you understand what visitors are doing on your site. You'll be able to see what pages they are visiting as well as what actions they are taking. First, you'll navigate to the Explore section on the left-hand side. You'll see the Exploration page appear. From here, you'll be able to create a blank new exploration, or you'll be able to select the Path Exploration Report right away. Go ahead and click in on that. Now when this loads, you'll be able to see a sample of the Path Exploration Report. This is super customizable as the Path Exploration Report should fit the needs of what data you're trying to dig into. Like all exploration reports, you can rename this report, and the technique is already selected for us. Under Segments, you can select these to see how different groups of your users slash visitors behave and add them into your path exploration report. You can also select the date range you want to analyze and click Apply once you've selected the range that you're looking for. Now from here, we're going to create our own example of the path exploration report. So we'll click on the Start Over on the top right hand corner. Now for the path exploration, you can select Ending Point as well as the Starting Point. For this example, we'll select the starting point. You'll select the node and then you'll select event name to start. You can change these throughout each step on your path exploration. You'll go ahead and select session start and that will populate the event at the top of the event after that. This type of graph is known as the tree graph and each section is a node. To go to the next step, you can click in on the nodes. You can click the edit button and uncheck the other options. We'll go with page view for this. You can click into page view and that will go to the next step and show you what the most common action is after this step. I'm curious about those that viewed a promotion. So I'll click into that and make sure I click the edit button and uncheck the other options. Then I'll go ahead and click on apply and you see view promotion move to the top. Now I'm really curious about the view item list. So. I'm going to select the page title and screen names because I'm curious what pages were the most viewed after this step. This will populate and show me that people viewed the men's unisex apparel page after this action. This can let me know how my promotion is doing and what actions are taken after this. Now since this is just an example, we're going to go ahead and click on start over and we're going to try out the path exploration beginning at the ending point this time. Go ahead and select the event name. And at the ending point, we're going to go ahead and type in the purchase event. And we're going to do the path exploration backwards. Now you can see the page view is the previous event before the purchase, but we're going to change this to be the page title and screen name. Now we're gonna click on each of those steps and go backwards. And you're going to be able to see what where they started from and what page led them to the checkout pages. This is a great way to also look into any errors or issues you're having as you can work backwards to help identify problems and trends. Now, please note that you can always find these reports in the Explore tab. Now, what other exploration paths do you want to see? How have you guys been using path explorations? And let us know in the comments. We're really curious what you guys are doing with path explorations and how you're using them. As always, happy exploring.